uniform and non-uniform motion. In our day-to-day -day life we observe several motions of living and non-living objects, whether birds, fishes, cars, trains, etc. Millions of objects are surrounding us, some stays at rest while some shows motion. A body is said to be in motion when its position changes continuously with respect to a stationary object taken as a reference point. We all know that the common characteristic of all the moving bodies is that they change their position with time. For example, when the position of car changes continuously with respect to some stationary objects like houses or schools etc. we say that a car is moving or car is in motion. Motion can be of two types, uniform motion and non-uniform motion. Uniform motion. A body is said to be in uniform motion if it travels equal distances in equal intervals of time, no matter how small these time intervals may be. If we draw distance time graph for uniform motion, then it will be straight line. For better understanding we can take an example, a car is running at a constant speed say 20 meters per second, will cover equal distances of 20 meters every second. So its motion will be uniform. More examples of uniform motion are movement of hands of a watch, rotation and revolution of the earth, movement of the blades of a ceiling fan etc. Non-uniform motion. A body is said to be in a non-uniform motion if it travels unequal distances in equal intervals of time. For example, if we drop a ball from the roof of a tall building, we will notice that it will cover unequal distances in equal intervals of time. Like 5 meters in the first second, 15 meters in the second second and so on. Thus, a freely falling ball will cover smaller distances in the first one second and larger distances in the later one second intervals. Therefore, we can say that the motion of a freely falling body is an example of a non-uniform motion. The distance time graph of the non-uniform motion is a curved line. Non-uniform motion is also known as accelerated motion. More examples of non-uniform motion are oscillation of pendulum, the motion of a train, a person jogging in the park, etc. We all know that the movement in our life plays an important role. Without it life is almost incomplete. It depends upon the objects that how much time they will take to cover the distance. Like the fast objects cover the given distance in less time while the slow ones take the longer time to cover it. It is also clear that the uniform and non-uniform motion depends upon the velocity of the moving body whether it is changing or not.